All being affected, we might consider some facts as a group. I arrested Hurst, acting in the name of the camp. Without the camp's previous fucking say-so. Do you propose that? Getting a say-so before I do my duty? Might be a good open. Showing Hurst it's off of him. Bullock's 10 won't play Kate Hurst. Give it the fuck back to him. Add to your statement to shut the fuck up. I'm done. Shall I, as mayor, initiate proceedings by giving my own opinions? However titular and insubstantial and merely honorific the position, which argues against my doing so. How is Hurst likely to answer? Ought steps to be taken in preemption? My instinct to act alone. Chart the course for fucking carnage. The this would be general. Among them, whose parents were so dim as to bring them the fucking innocence is what gives me fucking pause. I invite the suggestions of others against my instinct to send for the guns. As I've expressed to the sheriff and Mr. Starr, and siding with your instincts, to protect the innocents, I'd send them from the camp, then fall on Hurst and his in their lair before they fall on us in ours. As Wild Bill would have done. This is a letter. Who's the fucking letter to? What the fuck is going on? Last of those Cornishmen murdered. Pasco. His family. Read the letter. <clears throat> it becomes my painful duty to inform you that Pasco Carwin was killed Stop earlier this poking week. Stop your head out. His body I'm was found in the road. I'm using the sediment and Harry Manning's out. using it planted. It was not mutilated in any way. His death seems to have been instantaneous as he was stabbed through the heart. Pasco's funeral occurred today and was attended by co-workers and friends who all shared the same high opinion of him. Everything was done by kind hands that was possible under the circumstances and a Christian burial was given him. I was not personally acquainted with Mr. Carwin, save for one encounter where he demonstrated grief and deep compassion at the passing of a friend. I knew him by reputation as an earnest worker and a diligent believer in right and wrong. His memory, I am sure, will always be with those who knew and loved him, among whose number I imagine you as first. A letter from you, which I found in his tent, causes me to convey this sad intelligence to you. Sincerely yours, Seth Bullock. What shall I do with this, Mr. Bullock? What's your fucking paper for? You fucking publish as witness for Hearst and others to read. That's a very nice fucking letter. 